First, very few people can qualify to buy a $417,000 house at 25 years old, even with a $74,000 salary. It's just the reality. Even if you're disciplined and live very frugally, it's probably going to take three to 10 years to be able to pay off all debts and save up enough money to be considered a down payment, depending on where you live. That's why the average millennial buys their first home at age 34 compared to baby boomers at age 33. Second, this doesn't take into account the combined income of couples. Like, just consider that 20 21 census data found that 46% of people buying a home were married couples compared to 22% of single men and 30% of single women. That's because lenders combine the income of couples to determine how much money they'll need. And if $120,000 is the threshold, two people earning $60,000 is enough to get there. Third, it also just really depends on where you live. For example, the median income in Newton, Massachusetts is $122,000, while the median income in Flint, Michigan is $25,000. This means there's going to be a lot of variance between average incomes, values, and what middle class is in your area. And